it is Manda349 and this is a highly, highly requested video. Over the course of time, I have been kind of accumulating a couple of the famous fidget spinners. You guys have been highly requesting me to do a collection video and right now I currently only have six of them but I figured I would share them with you anyway because I don't really plan on accumulating any more and if I do maybe I could do like an updated collection video later on down the road. I know that the craze is kind of slowly dying down so I'm kind of on the the tail end of the trendy train here. First and foremost I'm gonna start with the basic ones. Uh, I got this one right here off of eBay and it's just the basic one. It is just a light pink color and it's okay. I mean this one doesn't spin for a crazy long amount of time. I got it for just like a couple dollars on eBay like I said. The pattern is really pretty. It looks like a flower when it's spinning but for the most part this one is just kind of like basic. That was <laughs> baby's first fidget spinner. Then my fiance surprised me with this one at one of the little gas stations that he goes to all the time. They had this one in there and he got it for me because like it matched my hair color and he's like, it's your color, babe. I had to get it for you. And it was just really cute. And to be honest, this one out of all of the ones that I have spins the fastest. It's just really nice and it spins the longest as well so it's really smooth this one feels a little bit more like eh, wobbly and just not very smooth uh, whereas this one is just such a smooth smooth feel to it and I quite like this one because at times it feels like there's nothing even in your hand. Now I kind of fell in love with the rainbow metal or titanium ones so I had to get my hands on these. This one right here I saw these three and I had to have all three. I don't know why I just really liked what they looked like um, but this one right here is really really heavy. It kind of reminded me of like a spaceship or something but I got this one and the other two I'm about to show you on AliExpress for I think they were around like five dollars ish maybe one was around like eight I think this one was eight but the other ones were like four or five dollars so they really weren't that expensive but here's the little details on this and I think I liked the rainbow one so much because they reminded me of Lisa Frank but with this one it doesn't really have like a cool pattern or anything when it spins it kind of just keeps the same shape because it's literally just a circle all the way around which is cool because this is one of the ones that if you like touch it while it's in mid spin it's not gonna like hurt you now if you like drop this on your foot it might break your toe. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not going to test the theory, but uh, yeah, it's definitely the heaviest one out of the ones I have. Then for the other two of the kind of uh, rainbowy titanium ones that I have, I have this one right here. This is the one I had to get first and foremost um, out of the rainbowy ones because it has hearts as the three points and then it just looks like so when it spins. Now this one's like really rattly. It, it always comes undone and I'm not a huge fan of the spin of this one because if you tilt it around too much it'll just like stop spinning. It's really nice. I, I'm not going to complain too much about it. I love the smaller ones because I can do them easier like with one hand and I like to kind of just like hold it and just do like this. And that brings me to my itsy bitsy baby one. So here's a standard fidget spinner. And here is my tiny one that is a flower with some little star cutouts on each petal. Um, they're not fully cut out though. It just looks like they are. Um, but the middle is silver on both sides. And then the around is uh, the rainbow. I'm going to get closer up so you guys can see like the true rainbow feel of it there but this one is probably my favorite out of all of the ones I have because it's so easy to just spin with one hand and it's just oh it's the most painful if you were to like hit it with your finger or something though because these edges they're not really sharp but they'll get you so I love this one and it's really smooth as well again I got this on AliExpress if I can find the links to all of these I'll put them in the description box in case you guys want to get your hands on them as well but yep 
just looks like that and I love like the noise this one makes when it spins it's really nice and therapeutic this and the heart ones are the ones that I will interchange carrying in my purse because they're just so like compact and small now the very last fidget spinner I have I got sucked into a sponsored ad on Facebook I think it was it was either Facebook or Instagram one of the two I got suckered into a sponsored ad on the glam spin and I was suckered into this because each little compartment and I had to I had to get it to see if it's legit and if it works and if I like it but it has lip glosses in each little three compartments and the middle is pink and the spinner itself is orange it tells you what what batch the lip glosses came in like what batch number it doesn't tell you the flavors on the bottom but it just says trademarks used under license and distributed by taste beauty llc glam spin that's what this is called the glam spin and uh the flavors are obviously clearly marked on the top so you have strawberry grape and peach so i've only used the strawberry one so far but you can kind of see it has a little bit of glitter shimmer in there not a lot but these smell really good so that one smells good and then i love the smell of the peach one but as you can see i haven't dipped into this one yet it's just like i don't know can you can you can you see the differences when i show them so yeah, I've used the strawberry one, I haven't used the peach one. So you can see what it looks like new and used. And then the grape one smells like grapes and it just looks like that. I haven't used that one yet either. I think the concept of this is really cool, especially for children who love like putting on lip gloss or just have just gotten to that age where they're allowed to li wear lip gloss or like their parents let them wear lip gloss. I think this is a cool little compact way to just carry around lip gloss whether you're traveling or you're on your way to school or just to have in your backpack or whatever. It's it's definitely more like kid-like makeup than it is like wearable, usable, actual like adult makeup. Like I'll put this on my lips and it'll probably be either rubbed off or soaked in within like a half an hour maybe tops if that so it's not like super tinted to where like you can put this on and be like oh here's my lipstick for the day I'm gonna go out and it's gonna last six hours no it literally just like wipes off or soaks into your skin after like 20 minutes or so but uh it's fun it's a cool concept and the flavors smell super awesome and another awesome thing is even when these are gone you can pop them out so it's just like a hole in the middle so whether you just finished off one and it's empty or you want to like I said alter the feel of the spin you can pop these out and it will make it have a whole different feeling and it will give you a different pattern while it's spinning I'm not sure if they sell like other flavors maybe so like you could interchange the lip glosses that are in here and stuff I don't know if they do that that would be a cool thing um, but I think this was $9.95 free shipping at the time when I ordered it so it was $10 which you know that's not really bad I mean for a couple lip smackers at the store it's like five bucks so um, I don't know it's a cool concept I like it but yeah those are all of my little fidget spinner spinner fidget things i hope you guys enjoyed this video like i said before it was kind of requested so uh let me know in the comment section down below which one out of all of these that i showed you do you have if you have them or which one is your favorite or which one are you most interested in trying out or buying or seeing if you can get your hands on? Let me know all your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. And with that being said, I will talk to you all next time. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. All right, bye.